So this is your story? One of many. Summer of 2014. I just started working at a summer camp. And it was the first week. They wanted all the counselors to get a feel for the land. It was a wooded area. No land markings, just woods, trails, mountains, so forth. They requested that each counselor go off, get a feel for the land before all the campers came so we could show them around. So we all pile into Paco, our beloved trusty van, who's not very beloved as it caught on fire and broke down two weeks later. But we loved it. Old square van. About six of us hopped in. My wife, who also worked at the camp, a good friend, Brett Foote, and a couple of the girls who I don't remember who they were. Real lasting impact. So we're driving, and a couple of them had worked at the camp before, so they were showing us around. We come to a pass, a clearing, if you will. And my friend Brett and I, we decide we're going to hop out. You ladies keep doing what you're doing, we're going to walk the rest. We're going to figure out this terrain ourselves. So we're walking, we're walking and it begins to just downpour. I mean torrential summer downpour. We come to a, uh, an opening in the trees and my friend Brett and I, we see a herd, a group, grouping, a garrison of baby turkey vultures, we assume are turkey vultures. Mind you, we don't know much about birds. I've never studied them, but from what I've seen on TV, these were baby turkey vultures. A garrison, so I've made that up. Maybe that's 12 or more, I think. And we decide, hey, what could be cooler than looking at these baby birds? Going towards those baby birds. So, I'm laughing because it terrifies me what happened next. My friend Brett and I stalked these baby birds. They were wandering through the brushes. We two wandered through the brushes. And we got pretty close to them. I mean so close that you could you could see what was in their mouths. See the food, the details of their feathers. Well, next thing we know, the mama turkey vulture decides to spring forth from the brushes as well. And her wingspan, I can only imagine that it was the size of a Buick. And she flies out of the brushes, flies over us, and begins to missile dive down at Brett and I. Well, we are terrified. We're terrified. So we take off. We take off for the van, which is maybe 10 yards away. The girls decide that they're going to drive off, leave us in the pouring rain to be a turkey vulture food. So we're running and we're screaming, and there's this mama turkey vulture just chasing us. This lasts for about five minutes till finally we manage to outrun this bird of prey. But we never do find the van. They're never waiting for us. We walk down a path, soaking wet, full of mud, scared for our lives, and finally get to the building where everyone is just meeting, having dinner. The girls are there. Everyone's wondering where we went. We walk in, petrified. Everyone just stares at us. My friend Brett begins to cry because he thought he was going to die. Very, um, very reasonable thinking process. Um, I too thought the same. So he begins to cry. I sit down in the corner. My wife comes up and asks me what's wrong, to which I reply, you don't know. The words were chosen, and we will not speak of it again. 
that was my first week at camp. I thought it would be my last week. That's my story. <laughs>